Hello folks, well it's another Hoover for you today and this one's come all the way from Antwerp in Belgium and I bought this after we left the EU and I haven't had to pay any extra import charges it was just the same as if we were still in the EU so um, I think I'll still be able to buy vacuum cleaners from uh, EU countries without it costing me too much more money so this is a Hoover Maestro yes I've never heard of it myself but it's basically a super sprint and I did show you a super sprint on my channel I recorded that video ages ago at the time of making this one you haven't seen it but I'll put that video up before you see this one so this one is slightly more deluxe and uh, it looks like it's in better condition so it's a model SC 086 M which I assume stands for maroon possibly because that's the color of the machine I don't think there's anything of any interest on the box not really now I have looked at this before uh, I made this video I thought I'd better check it first so I do know what it's going to be like but I haven't switched it on that's the only thing I haven't done I've done everything else I've cleaned and polished it but I've not switched it on this was sent to me with no packaging I just put that bubble wrap on there myself but there was no packaging whatsoever the vacuum cleaner was basically sent like that I'm so surprised that it arrived fully intact so we do have some spare bags here and these take H7 bags which fits this model which is called the Elite but we knew this as the Vogue in the UK this also fits later Hoover Sensortronics the boxy Sensortronic and there are a few bags in here also fits the Alpina, the Aria as well, Compact Elite Vogue, that's the Sensortronic I'm referring to, the boxy one there. So that's some spare bags, I'll take the cleaner out, it's got a little bit of dust on it since I put it away and I'll have, uh, have a look at it for you in front of you. Now then. Right, so all I've done with this cleaner, I basically polished it up, I've not given it a full clean. I did attempt to have a look at the motor yesterday but I couldn't remove the full cover I didn't want to damage anything there's two screws you undo I couldn't leave the motor cover off so I left it so basically this is called a Hoover Maestro 1300 we didn't get this particular model we got it as the Super Sprint now the other Super Sprint I showed you was also an import I think I got that from Germany or no I think that was from Italy actually this one's actually made in Portugal Hoover had a factory in Lisbon which obviously when Hoover moved to China that got closed and I think the Hoover Portugal factory was closed before the one in Scotland the last factory in the UK to be producing vacuum cleaners was in Scotland I don't know if they made any in Wales they might have made the sensory in the Merthyr Tidville factory where they made the washing machines so let's have a closer look it's quite a nice color and as you can see it has polished up pretty well it's not mint but it's in pretty good condition now the main thing that was wrong with this machine it is lacking the two small cleaning tools I didn't know they weren't included but then again it didn't say they were so when I opened this flap for the first time I was a bit disappointed to see that the cupboard was bare so this will fit a crevice tool and an upholstery nozzle I can still buy them I did buy an upholstery nozzle for another cleaner but I can use it for this um, and it's the push fit 32 millimeter push fit not the pip fitting so I'm not too bothered I can replace them with more or less the same this is broken actually they flap and all in all it's very very plasticky it's quite brittle feeling plastic um, so you know the quality you can definitely tell is a step down uh, I am so surprised though that it arrived completely unbroken I'm <laughs> considering it didn't have any internal packaging so that's the cover for your small tools this is obviously 360 degree inlet we attach the hose and we've got something I haven't seen working yet we've got the standard piston 
bad check indicator that will fluctuate as you use the machine and it turns red fully if you've got a blockage. I never rely on that sort of bag check indicator. In fact, even electronic bag check indicators, you can use them as a guide, but basically it's always best to check the bag periodically yourself. So there is a little, very hard to see because it's hidden away, but there's a little rubbery switch that you press in to open up the bag door. There we are. And that comes out. I gave this a bit of a wipe, it's in very, very good condition. It really wasn't, you're seeing it all polished up, but when I opened it, it was pretty good anyway. You can see the other side of the check, bag check indicator there. Um, don't think we've got a date wheel on there. Oh, that's it, yes, I have washed this filter. This is the pre-motor filter. I didn't actually put it back, so I thought it might be a bit damp. So that's, that's the same filter as the old Hoover Compacts. In, in fact, this, is quite closely related to the compacts even the very earliest compacts I think they were introduced about 82 this particular part here is just the same if you look I've got a green compact and a sort of a bluey compact that shape if you remember that shape from the uh, early 80s so basically it's the same this takes the same filter as those older models so that was a little bit dirty so I washed that in some uh, biological washing powder and rinsed it off and dried it obviously so that fits there and you can see this is the same fitting you'd get in the Sensotronics but it's very very much more plasticky it's obviously made to at a budget you know it's 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 a cheap cleaner it's a cheap fairly basic no frills vacuum so we can pop the bag in and I think there's nothing to stop you turning this machine on without a bag in place there's no little device that prevents you from putting the bag door back on and you can see all around the machine is the furniture guard but that also forms part of the seal here of the bag compartment uh, when we bag when the bag door goes on like that it forms the seal so very basic now they did obviously 1300 it says here so I'm assuming it's a 1300 watt motor this is a little bit uh, more sophisticated or deluxe to uh, the super sprint the super sprint I showed you the red one doesn't didn't even have automatic cord rewind there was a blank piece here so this does have auto cord rewind and an on off switch I have seen models that have also a suction electronic suction control here you can see obviously this is a blanking piece so um, I've never seen one of those I don't think we had a, a variable powered one in the UK I can't remember these were from the 90s I seem to recall I've got uh, some 1990 Hoover brochures little square ones that featured the sprint and super sprint which is what this was called there is an exhaust filter which is behind the grill at the top and that wasn't too dirty but I have washed it so it looks like new now so quite low filtration but it's a budget machine I've no idea what it sounds like because I haven't actually turned it on yet so that's the only thing I haven't done in the video uh, before making the video so that goes in there and you can see on the back here there's a, a nice bit of stronger bit of plastic to prevent the wear that you get yeah, I've seen it on Sensotronics, I've seen it on many cleaners, where the user, oh now that's that's stuck a bit, hang on, that's jammed for some reason, what's happened there, oh there we go. If you don't pull out the cord in a straight line like this, most people would pull out the cord at an angle, after a while it wears into the plastic, which is why they've got this strong bit of plastic here. So we can pull out the cord, There we are, let's it back in. And we can see because this is a, a European model, we've got the two pin plug molded on. I've got a little adapter I'll uh, use uh, when I plug this machine in for the first time. One thing I was concerned about, is, of course, it's the wheels. The wheels always seem to suffer and get broken in transit, but look, fine. 
and again that one that's fine and dandy and we've got two caster wheels here it's all a bit you know it's all a bit cheap still better than the Chinese made hoovers of nowadays but still I don't know if a bit of grease would help that you've got a parking slot there let's have a quick look at uh, the rating sticker so this is Hoover model or model O <laughs> SC 086M 230 240 volts PN 1100 watts P max 1250 watts so not even a 1300 watt as it says on the the top serial number is 13145 no idea how we date it from there but I'm sure this is an early 90s machine and uh, Fabricado Nasi Portugal made in Portugal so it comes with uh, a standard hose with a swivel connection and this handle is very familiar they featured this on many of the lower end hoovers of the time the galaxy uh, the aria uh, the vogue not the alpina the alpina was a little bit more deluxe but it's 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 fine it's okay a bit squeaky needs a little bit of greasing up i think it's got a trigger control here that just opens the little valve up to reduce the suction briefly so you have to keep your finger on that if you're cleaning curtains or something delicate keep your finger on and release it to seal that off again for full suction power so it just plugs into the top of the cleaner like so and it's it's all a bit stiff it's not it's not smooth you know it's uh it's okay but again i wonder if i could grease put any grease under there to help smooth it off but it's yeah it's not like i'm going to use it much apart from the hose swiveling 360 degrees in the top of the machine the hose itself does swivel both ends so it shouldn't get tangled up i'm not sure please comment below especially if you're watching this outside the uk in an eu country um I've never seen a wand like this. Now it fits, fits okay. I'm not sure if it's the correct wand for this machine. It does have uh, the parking bracket there that does fit into the back. It is a bit loose though. There is only one on the back. There isn't, well, it's a storage bracket more than the parking. But it is, the fact that it's quite loose makes me think this possibly isn't the original. And again, the model I had, the well, I've still got the Super Sprint, had plastic ones. But this might be correct. But again, as I say, I'm not sure. But it does fit. Fits quite neatly. It'll be a standard 32 millimeter fitting, just a push and twist. And then we've got this Hoover automatic nozzle, which I did have. Uh, from a cleaner brand new so this is a, a nozzle that we did get in this country and basically well it says automatic but basically it just has a floating brush so there's nothing to change it'll clean carpets and hard floors basically when it's on the floor the brush should stay sticking outwards and when you're pushing down a bit more on carpets the brush will retract into the body of the nozzle got a litter picker quite a nice deep suction groove and side suction channels either side as well two little wheels so it's quite a nice it's a basic nozzle quite nice though it's still got a, a rubberized furniture guard that goes all the way around so it's a quite smart little nozzle for a budget machine and that fits on there i've not tried this out yet so it'll be interesting to have a go okay then folks well that's it i've shown you the machine now i need to plug it in i'm going to risk plugging it in and switching it on next to it i mean i've had the motor i've looked into the motor not properly but it all looks very pristine in there so fingers crossed now i just need my adapter so i'll just pause the camera grab my adapter so I can uh, plug this two pin plug into my three pin socket. I'm just going to fit this temporary adapter for now, but I think I'm going to order some more semi-permanent ones that actually screw onto the end of the two pin plug. 
because I'm forever looking. I've just spent five minutes looking for this. Uh, I've only recently used it, but uh, I'd forgotten I'd imported a SIBO Felix Fun, the orange coloured SIBO Felix that you can't buy anymore. I found one in Germany, but of course it had one of these plugs on, so I had to use this. And that's where I found it, still attached to the SIBO. So anyway, there we go. Now I can plug it in. Not the sweetest sounding vacuum cleaner, is it? <laughs> but I think that's more or less how it should be. It's a bit. Probably would uh, benefit from a little bit of lubrication on the bearings of the motor. But when I did have a quick peek at what I could see of the motor, I didn't want to snap the top cover. I could only sort of lift it halfway. It all looked, you know, very pristine. There was no black dust in there. Now that, that squeaking noise. Now the smell I'm getting is a combination of the detergent I used to wash the filters and a little bit of a burny smell you know slight that that squeaking noise came from this round here the seal actually <coughs> right oh, it's a nice looking machine you know but it's all very it's just not oh. I can't describe what it's not, but it's. I've just opened a SIBO, um, a second-hand SIBO I got, uh, which was, I think, uh, about 18 years old. And the quality difference is astounding. I mean, really. <laughs> but it's a Hoover, and I'm a sucker for Hoovers. That's you. Well, <laughs> no pun intended, I'm a sucker for Hoovers. Yeah, that screaming noise is something to do with the uh, the bag door. Once I sort of kicked it a bit, it was fine. Now, pardon me, I like this nozzle. Now, it, it isn't easy, easy peasy to push on this plush carpet, but at least I can push it. On a short pile carpet, it'd be easy. But that's a nice, that Hoover automatic nozzle is a nice nozzle. And it was on full suction. It's nice to use, it really is. The cleaner itself isn't, of course. <laughs> I think, you know, as I say, I'm sure this is from the 90s, and by the 90s, Hoover was starting to not be quite so good, obviously. It's when the 2000s came along, when Hoover moved all their production to China, when things did take a, a terrible downward turn, although some that the Chinese made Hoovers aren't too bad. You know, the Hoover Globe and the Hoover Turbo Power, two word Turbo Power, bagless one. You know, in my experience, they're not too bad, but most, most of what uh, Hoover churn out from China isn't worth having in my opinion and experience. But yeah, it's all right. I'm pleased I've got one. It's, uh, you know, I'm pleased it arrived intact. I'm, a ple I'm pleased that it polished up, it's had a couple of coats of wax polish. Didn't look quite as good as this, it did look fairly good. But a lot of the sort of scuffing on the top of the machine that I discovered when I opened it, I think that was probably caused when it was shipped in the box with, with nothing to protect it. But it's for what it is, you know. It's okay, I'll put a little bit of dirt down, see 
how well this Hoover Automatic nozzle performs. But I think what I will probably do at some stage is sell the red version I've got without the auto cord rewind. I might pinch the tools from it, but somebody would like it. But I'm trying to thin my collection out a bit and having two machines that are very similar. And this is the better one. It's the more deluxe model. And if I ever came across an even better version of this, maybe with electronic control, then this would get sold. So I only need to keep one example of this style of body. This is called the Maestro, of course, but it is a super sprint. So let's music Maestro, please. Oh, it's very, you know, it's almost as hard to pull along as a Sensotronic. But the Sensotronic wheels are certainly a little bit smoother than these. Of course, it doesn't help having this plush carpet. Things don't move very well. I've not actually tried a Constellation on this carpet. Even the new version, the Maytag Satellite, will probably have trouble floating on this. Don't buy a carpet like this, folks. Bit of a mistake there, but never mind. Too late now. OK, well, let's get some dirt and see if this Hoover Maestro can pick it up. There you go, that's the Hoover Maestro. I'm afraid there's been a little bit of a casualty during the making of this video, but nothing that a good bit of glue can't fix. Yes, the litter picker has come off the bottom of the Hoover automatic head, but a bit of a stronger glue and I'll be able to uh, fix that. It's a good job I didn't suck it into the machine, otherwise I'd be uh, going through a lot of mess to get hold of that, but uh, Fortunately, it didn't end up inside the cleaner. Speaking of inside the cleaner, we can have a look at how well the bag filters the dust. Oh, it's all very awkward, this. It does come off the hose, but it'd be easier if I just take the cover off with the hose. Let's have a look at the bag compartment. In a real life situation, what you'd do is you'd fold that little piece over there while you're removing the bag from the cleaner. It's quite full. And dispose of the dirt. Hmm. Well, it's not done to, well, saying that. There is a bit of 
dust where it says number five there you can see some fine dust has got through we can also see on the filter there look just about see that yeah we go. there you go look will it be better that way down i don't know there's dust on the filter there's well not dust it's actual debris has made its way oh dear look bit of glitter there and some other bits and pieces that was a nice clean filter before the demo so not great obviously I've picked up a lot of dirt in one go in this demo more dirt than you'd pick up during a regular clean but I'll just vacuum that out at a later date well before I store this away give it a vac out and I'll put a new bag in that's quite full I'll reuse that expensive dirt <laughs> Yes, yeah, there's quite a lot of... Um, I'll go back to using proper dirt in future, I think. Uh, I'm sure I've got a couple of bags full of normal dirt somewhere that I can throw about. So it's pretty good uh, as far as that dirt is concerned. If I'd put down pet hair, I don't think pet hair would have uh, been picked up very well with the Hoover Automatic nozzle. But of course, being a standard 32 millimeter fitting, you can fit any sort of 32 millimeter push fit turbo nozzle to this cleaner I don't know why I'm putting the bag in because I can still put the bag door on oh yeah but that's uh, and actually I found a little piece of plastic which is now rattling inside here that probably came off this I, it was in my hallway I don't know where it where it was from I, I reckon it fell out of the box because the box has been on its end in the hallway when I got it so it probably broke in transit that uh, tiny piece I might have a go at gluing it with a tiny bit of super glue but it, it doesn't affect the look or the performance of the vacuum and of course we've got that annoying squeaking screw well, screeching sound coming from uh, the bag door it does go away if you press it down well I hope you've enjoyed looking at this Hoover Maestro maybe one you've never seen before certainly if you live outside the uh, EU even if you live in the UK you've probably not seen a Hoover cleaner called Maestro I know of a Moulinex Maestro but I've never seen a Hoover Maestro and this was just uh, something I found on eBay I wasn't even looking it just cropped up it was on a buy it now and I thought well it's fairly interesting I offered the seller a little bit less than uh, they were asking and they accepted my offer so I'm pleased to have it another one for the Hoover collection if you've liked this video don't forget please give me a thumbs up it does help and if you don't subscribe if you've made it to the end of the video please consider subscribing and clicking on my bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new floor care video so until the next time thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon bye for now